<laughs> right folks, I'm just going to run you through my snag fish fishing setup. It's really simple, but it's vital when, you, when you're snag fishing to use this sort of equipment. My rod is a 10 foot, three and a quarter pound test curve, very heavy rod, but a 10 foot short rod, I can get into little areas that not many people can get to. If a longer rod, you're actually quite hindering in your fishing. You can't get into as many places as you could if you was using a 10 foot rod. I've got a tournament style reel, plenty of cranking power. This is the Daiwa uh, Whisper. What I also do is I fish locked up with, the, with it bowstring tight. So if any side, any sort of activity, I'll get indication straight away and I can be on the rod quite quickly. It's really important for me to emphasize this. When snag fishing, always set up so you're not far away from your rods. The last thing you want to do is wait for a fish. It takes it, it'll be in the snag within a couple of seconds so you can lose them quite quickly. One of the other things you do, what I do, if you notice, I've got my rod set up very much like a river angler. Um, and I'm not doing that because I am a river angler. I'm doing this for a reason. Um, well, I have my, obviously, set up with slightly an angle like that, probably 45 degrees. Then I have a bivy peg at this end, and that is to keep my rod solid. So if a fish does take it, it's not going to go anywhere. And the reason for that is that I'll show you at this end. Send, I'm the fish. When the fish takes it, what it does, if you can see, the rod is not going anywhere. And the, the compression of the rod will kite the fish away from the snags. Um, this is why it's really important for you to be dead close to your rods. So if you do get, if you do get a take, you can be on it and you can actually guide them away from the snags quite quickly. If you give the fish line, they'll get momentum. And once they've got momentum, you won't be able to stop them. But if you get on top of them, as soon as they've hit that up bait, you can get them away quite quickly and safely. And it's really important to do that when snag fishing. You can't emphasize it enough. If you are snag fishing, don't sit under a brolly at night or go sleep in your sleeping bag. Sit on your rods. You need to be on them at all time for fish safety and for your own, because there always is a possibility when you do do snag fishing that you could lose your rod. Well, that's just about it for another week, folks. Um, that's just a little insight into my snag fishing, uh, what rods and what reels I use uh, when I do go out snag fishing. Um, what I will do in a few seconds, I'll show you, I'll run you a little short clip um, of me when I was snag fishing. I got a take, but unfortunately the fish managed to make it to the snag and, and I lost it. But it just, it's all about um, split second reaction and as soon as you get a, a beep, you've got to pick your rod up and walk back. If you don't do that, unfortunately, like the one in this clip, I lost it. So I'm going to run that in a few seconds, but before that I just want to thank everybody who's watching. Um, thank all the subscribers that have subscribed and anybody who hasn't subscribed please hit the subscribe button for some more content hopefully over the next few weeks you'll start seeing a, a few more bits and bobs coming from me for carp fishing some tench fishing and as soon as the river season opens they'll be doing covering all manner of different species well thanks for watching folks and i'll see you in the next one is it oh right i've got one